Oh, it's been fantastic being here, um, hearing what everybody else in the industry is thinking about as far as designing facilities for the future, uh, particularly energy efficiencies, uh, managing user groups, uh, making some networks and, and contact with people from outside our own organisation, and also uh, particularly finding out the backgrounds of people in different roles. Uh, I wasn't aware, for example, that um, uh, design managers may or may not have architecture backgrounds, and that's been a useful thing to file away for future use. Probably the most important thing that I've learned is the importance of engaging with your users and running your user groups efficiently and effectively, uh, about networking with other organisations who have already done some of this work and trying to learn from their lessons and errors um, and, and take that information forward for making our process smoother and, and more efficient. The number one thing is understand what you're getting into. You need to have done very robust service plans. You need to have a very clear idea of what your target cohort is. You need to very clearly understand what the demographics are going to do up to 15 years out. You also need to understand where you want that facility to be in, in 30 to 50 years time and then work back to the current scope of your project to make sure you don't end up becoming snookered if at all possible. Uh, designing with energy efficiency in mind is very important uh, as we've seen in some of the presentations, particularly the escalating cost of energy uh, and also the, the Green Star presentation that was on the second art conference was fantastic as well. Uh, making sure we've, we've catered for the increasing size in obesity in the patients and the increased demands on furnishings, fit out and equipment turning radiuses and storage of that equipment. Uh, probably something that we're all underdoing at the moment based on one of the presentations from this, this, uh, this week's conference. The other probably large one is making sure the energy efficiency is right and that we're spending as much as we can uh, to in, in the build costs to try and minimise your recurrent costs on your building. 